hi guys i'm back with another video first of all i wish you all a very very happy new year 2022 and i truly hope that all of you stay safe get through this pandemic healthy we don't need to worry about this anymore like we had to worry in the years 2020 and 2021 i had planned this video for all my subscribers i'm really glad that i'm able to bring it out on the first of uh, January so it's my gift for you all for the year 2022 and let's hope that we can all be profitable traders and successful traders and start to learn new things in this new year so having said that uh, I'll come to my strategy part so today I have planned a strategy for you which I personally use and have been using since years now very successfully the strategy has a good success rate see any strategy that you use uh, is going to have a um, 50-50% success rate. Any strategy works good in certain conditions and not so good in some other conditions. Now as far as market conditions go, the market could be in a downtrend, an uptrend or in a consolidation mode. Typically on an intraday basis, we are not too worried about that frankly. So this strategy is purely based on the CPR. You already know by now that CPR is my favorite indicator and I do not look at any other charts where there is no CPR. I mean, I just cannot trade without CPR. So CPR is a group of three lines, which consists of the central pivot, the top central pivot, that is the TC, and the bottom central, which is the BC. Now I have made a very detailed video on CPR, which has become extremely popular. And I will leave a link of it in this banner up here. So please check it. The video talks about what CPR is, the basics of CPR and how you can implement it in the market. So today we are not going to cover the basics because that video already covers it. So if you haven't watched it, please go and see it first and only then come back to this video. So today I'm going to give you a specific strategy based on CPR and we will see what kind of market conditions we should deploy this strategy in. See, CPR can be weak or strong. It could be wide or narrow. So depending on its width, the strength of the CPR comes into play. You get next day CPRs on uh, trading view. So I personally use them. A day prior itself, I know what sort of CPR is going to be there tomorrow. And you should see whether the CPR is wide or whether the width is very narrow. If the CPR is broad, then generally we consider it to be a sideways day. That is not a thumb rule, but generally. And if it is a narrow CPR, then we say that it can be a trending day but it also depends on many other factors uh, what sort of supply demand zones are there uh, how much selling or how much buying is going on in the market what kind of trend the market is in at that point of time so it all depends on that but in general terms uh, it is very easy and it is a very simple understanding that if it's an arrow cpr then it is difficult for the cpr to hold a price to reject price so it's all about whether price is rejected at that level or not. We will not be trading on a very narrow CPR. So the very next question that you will ask me is what is narrow in terms of points? How much narrow is really narrow? It is very difficult to say. Actually, you have to spend time on the charts and get experienced to see what narrow actually means. But in my experience, in a rough sense, I generally consider a CPR which is less than 30 points to be narrow and much less than 20 points or 15 points to be very narrow and anything more than 30 points up to 60 points is or up to 40 points is something which is uh, a moderate size CPR but anything more than 60 points yes then it starts becoming a wide CPR so that is in terms of nifty in terms of bank nifty uh, we could say that anything less than 100 uh, up to about 50 60 points is a narrow CPR and anything more than say 100 to 120 and starts to become average and anything more than 120 points then uh, 140 130 points something like that then it becomes a wide CPR in this strategy we are not going to work on the very narrow to the very wide CPR we are going to work on an average size CPR wherein you know if you see that there is a price level at the top and the bottom of the CPR if you measure that price level then you should be able to say that okay the CPR is within say 40 or 50 points in nifty and it's within the 90 point range in bank nifty 
okay so remember that important point that is one condition now the second condition is of this strategy is that you have to observe price action very closely when price comes to the level we are taking a trade which in which the cpr breaks and then cpr has to hold so what i mean to say here is if the cpr breaks as a resistance if price comes from the bottom then it should hold as support and if it comes as a support that is when price comes from the top it should hold as a resistance when price breaks it then it should hold as a resistance when the first pullback is there sometimes price can break the cpr and then the breakout of that cpr can fail i have mentioned this in another video of mine that when you trade on the 5 minute chart or any any time frame usually you should understand that whenever you see an an important level and price is approaching it you should see whether the level holds or not whether the level holds or not depends on when the level is broken is the level broken when price touches it for the first time or is it broken after some time candle spend some time there and candles make a base there so you have to see if candles are forming a base at that level before the level is broken now if price approaches any level it could be cpr or it could be any other pivot or any other important level if price approaches that level and it breaks right through chances are that the breakout will fail so in such circumstances you should not take a position because you're not sure whether the breakout will hold so my suggestion to you is wait for price to form a base and then see whether there is a strong bullish candle if we are talking about a long trade breaking out of that zone so it should form a zone it should go sideways for a while and then it should break out if you see that one after another candles are coming and they are breaking out of that range then such candles do not uh, signal a very strong breakout trade and usually such breakouts will fail because these breakouts are uh, fake breakouts they are trap candles meant to trap uh, breakout traders all the breakout traders who went long on that breakout have their sls below and what are sls they are sell orders when price reverses all sell orders are triggered and then a huge sell order is created okay now we talked about a breakout do you take reversal trades based on cpr yes definitely cpr is one of the best indicators you will ever find it's a forward indicator it is not a lagging indicator so definitely you can use cpr to take reversal trades also but there is a technique to using reversal trades here what i do is i take reversal trades based on cpr depending on whether the a previous day's cpr is present on the current day's chart what i mean to say by that is i search for a virgin cpr when price does not touch that cpr but that cpr uh, is fairly wide and then you can extend that cpr towards the right hand side so on the next day or maybe say 3 to 4 days after that wherever whenever price comes to that level you can trust the cpr to act as either a support if the price comes from above or a resistance if price comes from below how do you trade that level you just draw the virgin cpr on your chart and you can extend them for the next 5 to 6 days so whenever price comes to that area check out whether price penetrates the virgin cpr and see if price is making any sort of reversal candlestick pattern at virgin cpr so you have to check for reversal candlestick pattern now i have already made a video on the types of candlesticks i'll uh, leave it in the banner up here so please go and check it it's one of my very early videos so you might or might not have seen it but it's an important video and it shows a lot about it tells a lot about candlestick patterns all i'm interested here in here is that we should see a reversal candlestick pat pattern in terms of a um, pin bar so whenever price comes to that level let us suppose that price is falling and price comes and hits the virgin cpr now wherever the center line which is the central pivot of that virgin cpr is price comes to that level it takes support and then it reverses so then at that time you see that there is a formation of a pin bar or a long tail or a long wick candle which has a 
fairly okay or a smallish body on the top which is a green in color sometimes the candlestick could be red but the tail should be very long the tail should be on the downside if you are looking to go long and then you can place your sl below the virgin cpr and then you can place your long trade that is again provided your sl is within your position size okay now the next point is uh how about trades which in which the virgin cpr holds as resistance it's the same way again if price approaches from the bottom and you see that price penetrates the virgin cpr and then inside the virgin cpr it makes a reversal candlestick like a bearish pin bar in which there is a long tail on the top and a small body on the bottom then you short that candle with your sl above the virgin cpr and then you can play out the trade as it reverses and such trades can be really powerful position sizing is most important just entering and jumping into the trade is not important i've already made a video here about how to place your sl and how to take entries and where to place your entries so that you are confident about your trade and you are not afraid and you're not worried so please go and watch that video also if you haven't watched it yet so guys let's jump in now on the charts and i'll explain to you what sort of candlestick patterns i am talking about but before we go to the charts please like this video and also share this video and subscribe to it also hit the bell icon now let's jump in we are on the nifty now this is december 7th you can see the date here see this is the date of december 7th this is these are all december charts okay i have collected all the recent charts i will tell you the levels first this is the cpr so this is a wide range cpr isn't it this is the a top cpr the t cpr this is the central pivot which we also call as pp and this is the bottom cpr okay b cpr you don't need to worry about plotting all these because you get them uh, ready made on trading view so i will also definitely make a separate video on it how to prepare your charts because a lot of people have requested me to tell them how to plot cpr and also next day cpr so i'm going to make a separate video for it because it will take some time to explain it to you the exact indicators that i use okay so coming back to this day let us see what price action shows us you can see the first candle here it's a doji kind of a candle and it doesn't have much strength you can see that it has got a good wick on the bottom here but it's also got a red body fine so let's see what price does after that this candle is formed which is a pretty uh, strong red candle which shows that bulls seem to be taking over but then at central pivot again here it forms a doji kind of a candle which shows that uh, there is a fight going on between the sellers and the buyers and the very next candle that is the one two three fourth candle so the very next candle becomes a green candle now this green candle seems to be a very good body candle you can see for yourself that it is a strong candle and then it forms this candle then the second and the third candle completely explodes out of cpr look at the size of this candle it's a big bullish candle it shows buying strength and this is the candle that you should be going long on this is how we will trade the breakout of price out of cpr in this strategy so here after the after this candle is formed you take a trade you can place your sl by giving it some room below the entry candle here will be your entry let's say let's call it e that is your entry here is your stop loss and you can see that this is a daily pivot here this is the r1 pivot so i will write the name of the pivot here this is the r1 this is the r2 here and this color pivot this one is the monthly pivot this is the monthly pivot but i don't pay much attention to monthly pivots i usually trade only on specifically on uh, daily pivots and on weekly pivots this line is the weekly pivot especially after strong breakouts like uh, the breakout of cpr you can ignore the weekly pivot because usually 
weekly and monthly pivots are not important when we are talking about a breakout of CPR. So when CPR is broken, it takes so much power to break CPR that weekly and monthly pivots will not be able to hold price. So let's clear the screen. Okay, so let's rehearse this again. So this is where you place your SL. Let's write this here SL. This is where you place your entry on top of this candle. So this becomes your entry. And after the price broke very strongly out of this level, see only one candle broke out of this level. It did not take much to break the daily pivot. So if only one candle can break the daily pivot, you can be very sure that the weekly pivot when it is so close, the candle will surely break it. So ignore these red candles. It's okay if you ignore them. Check out this candle, how strong this candle is. The candle that broke out of the weekly pivot. If you cannot see it, I'll mark it here. This is the weekly pivot. So price broke out of that level, this level here. And after breaking the weekly pivot, it kept going up and it reached the previous day high. Now what is the previous day high? This level is the previous day high. Now why do I know my levels so well? It is just out of experience. So don't worry, you will also get to know about them. And I always color code my levels also. So you can see these different colors. Uh, this is the color for the daily pivots. So this is, as I told you, this is R1. This is R2. And right up here at the top of the screen, this is R3. So similarly, I mark the S1, S2, S3 levels also. And the uh, PDH and PDH level, PDL levels for me are in black. And then as of coming back to this trade, you can take your profit at this level, at the PDH. Now the PDH was also broken by this candle here. You can see that the PDH was at this level and it was broken by this strong candle. But I will strongly suggest you not to get greedy and book your profits. Anyways, your profit level is very high here. So if you see that, if you consider this to be your profit level, that is the profit target, then you can see that this was your SL here up to this point and this is your target. So you can imagine how big that trade was. This was probably more than 1 is to 3. So that is how you should plan your trades in the live market. And if you take such entries mechanically, then there are no emotions left in it. Now this is the 3rd of December. You can see here, this is the 3rd of December this year and this is bank nifty okay five minute chart of the bank nifty see here you can see on the top here five minute chart of the bank nifty okay now when bank nifty opened with this strong bullish candle see how big this candle is the first candle itself shows a lot of strength when this candle opened with a strong bullish candle it did not have much follow through after it so price reversed from this pivot here this is the daily pivot it reversed specifically the R2 and then price came by this candle took out the low of the first candle so the low of the first candle was here and price and this candle broke the low and then immediately broke the central pivot also see this is the central pivot and then this here I'll clear this out I'll show you how it consolidates see now check out this do doji check out this doji also check out this doji check out this doji see how many dojis are there so there are four dojis what does it mean that there is a strong battle going on in this zone there is a strong battle going on between the buyers and sellers and you are interested in seeing what happens after this does the cpr provide support or does it break so the cpr is this level this range here these three lines here one and 3 this is the CPR does the CPR provide support if it does then the price will reverse from here after hitting the bottom CPR but now in this case it did not and see price consolidated in this zone for how many candles let's now count the candles here this is 1 2 3 4 and five candles so after this candle it took half an hour for price to break out these are five minute candles right so half an hour for price to form this candle to strongly break out of the cpr 
and when you see such a consolidation and a breakout of that usually such breakouts are successful breakouts so the price has successfully broken the cpr and a price that can break cpr has a lot of strength during that session so you can short here this will be your entry and your sl now it's a very small sl you can keep your sl a little bit higher above at the tcpr level or a little bit above the TCPR but give it some room okay this was your entry you can place it here also it's entirely up to your judgment and your position sizing and then I would ideally suggest you to take profit here this will be your target this would be your SL and this would be your target so you can see that your target is much bigger than your SL always take trades that are at least one is to two in nature that is that means that if you lose one then you are winning two at least but don't get greedy again as i said in the previous slide also you should understand that price can reverse any time in this kind of a market so respect the levels as price respects it and these are the levels given by market itself so respect those levels this is december 27th see here nifty five minute chart this day opened with a big red candle and then price reversed after hitting the high of this candle and after price reversed it went and hit the cpr here okay now why it rallied like this here uh, i've already made the strategy on that so please go and watch that strategy to understand how to take trades when the opening candle high is broken okay so in this strategy now coming back this was the entry candle so this candle broke another time let's see now once price hit the central pivot which candle can you tell me which candle broke into the pivot the cp can you tell me which candle broke into the cpr see this was the candle that conclusively broke into the cpr and then after this level you can see that price consolidated here for such a long time again let's count this here so this is one two three four five so again six around 30 minutes of consolidation and the sixth candle after that broke the cpr which is this candle right here and then after this candle broke then you can take your entry at the high of this candle and since the cpr is narrow here you can place your sl below the cpr itself so sl has to be below the cpr even the cpr is narrow and here is your sl here is your entry and again after that price did not really reach the uh, previous day high or any other important level but then the price did not even go to your sl level it just kept going sideways after the breaking of the cpr and somewhere over here the day closed one important thing i want to tell you here is that whenever you are taking cpr breakout trades ensure that there are no candles to the left of that candle prior to that candle whenever the price breaks out of the cpr that should be the first candle from the left hand side so if you see here then there are no candles here to the left of this candle not a single candle is present there so this is the way you should trade if you have seen that there are candles before this there were candles coming from top like this and then the price bounced from here and again started going up then this candle is not a cpr breakout candle okay this is not the trade we want to take you have to ensure that if you want to take a breakout trade to the top side then you have to know that price has to come from the bottom and this kind of a candle has to be seen which is a strong candle it could be a pin bar also so but then it has to be a strong candle you don't want to see a, a big wick on top of this candle like this okay so it should not be a big wick on top it should be a strong candle like this is so this denotes that there is a lot of buying strength so far we have seen examples on how to take trades based on cpr when price breaks out of cpr now let's go to the 7th the 7th of december and i will show you how price reacts to 
virgin CPR and how we can take trades based on virgin CPR. In virgin CPR, as I explained prior to these charts, that you're not going to take breakout trades, but you're going to take reversal trades. So if you deploy this strategy based on CPR, you are taking breakouts as well as reversals, but the breakouts are out of current day CPR and reversals are out of previous day CPR. Okay, so let's chart this out. See, this was the day and the previous day, that is the 6th. You can see the day here. This is 6th. See, this is the 6th of December and this is the 7th of December. And this is a 5 minute nifty chart. Okay. So this is the CPR. This is a very broad CPR. These three lines, 1, 2 and 3. These constitute the central pivot range. C, P, R. Okay. Now, if you see on this day, the price did not even once touch the CPR. So, on such days, this CPR is called as a virgin CPR. Virgin CPR. Why virgin CPR? Because the price did not penetrate it. So, not a single time. And so, these candles have been forming below. the. This, is, this was the open of the day, see. And then this was the close. So not a single time price ever touched the CPR on the 6th. So this CPR you should mark on the next day. So this is how you should mark it out. The blue area that I have marked is the uh, CPR of the previous day. Okay, so now see how price reacts to that level. See, when price opened here, it actually broke out of CPR here and then this CPR breakout was so strong that it rallied right up to the virgin CPR but it could not break the virgin CPR. Now at the virgin CPR it formed this red candle and it also later formed this red candle. So and there was look at these wicks here now one two three these indicate that the price is not going to proceed into the virgin CPR zone. So price broke the CPR of that day but could not break the virgin CPR of that day and here you could have traded for a reversal pattern. Now for a reversal pattern how do you trade this? You can take your entry at the low of this candle or you can wait and see if this candle was trying to penetrate CPR and then after this candle formed you could have taken the trade also. So you can keep your SL a little bit higher here give it some room so this would have been your SL and this would have been your entry and then you could have waited right till the end of the day also to see where you can take your profit or if you if you know that you are done with 1 is to 2 here then you can take your profit somewhere here if you are already completed with 1 is to 2 then don't wait any longer it is very hard to say where to take uh, book profit but generally I never go or stay in the trade for more than 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 2.5 or maximum 1 is to 3 now let's see bank nifty 15th December See, from 14th of December, Bank Nifty had a virgin CPR. You can see that I have marked it on the chart here. So this here becomes the virgin CPR. This is the, I'll write the VCPR here. So you know the levels. Right. So this was the virgin CPR. And you can see that there was a monthly pivot here. There was this daily pivot here. And also there was this previous day high here and the VCPR on top of it. So with so many resistances on the top, the chances of price going higher are very, very slim. Also here, if we can see the previous day, this week, this week, and after that, the price had fallen. So it suggests that there is a supply zone also on top. So you can see this one, two, three, and virgin CPR and supply zone on the top. So for that day, you could, you could have been very sure on the 15th of December that price will not penetrate virgin CPR and it will find it very difficult. Exactly that was what happened. You can see the price action here. Price formed this very strong bullish candle, tried to break. But then this candle was formed immediately, the next one. And then after this small consolidation, this big candle was formed, which suggested that definitely price is not going to pierce the virgin CPR. So on such occasions, can you trade on this candle here? Can you should you short on this candle given the fact that your current day CPR, which is already holding here, see pivot points 
the central pivot here is still holding here and here central pivot is still holding so will you want to take a entry here an entry here would mean that your sl would be this big if you can place your sl on top of uh, the monthly pivot for extra protection then this is your sl and this is your target this is not a good trade isn't it so let's clear this let's see what a better trade is so after you saw this candle form here this week on the top is a good week and this week on the bottom all these weeks on the bottom they suggest that buyers are fighting but buyers are not fighting enough to push the price high is what the next candle shows so after this again my favorite formula wait for 50 percent retracement here and then once price retraces now you can keep your sl here okay this was your sl see how better the entry is and this is your entry line and then your profit level or profit booking can be the central pivot why not the top central pivot because top central pivot was already broken here so it does not have any importance as such as a support now so you can wait for the central pivot and you can take your profit when price comes to the central pivot now it starts looking a much better trade isn't it so this is definitely a one is to two kind of a trade so wait be patient and only then trade take this trade so to re recap this i know it's a little bit difficult or if i'm being too fast let me just re recap this this candle being very strong and this candle rejecting price then the wicks on the top and bottom showing that there is a strong fight between buyers and sellers and this strong candle forming later suggesting that the sellers have overpowered the buyers but since the entry here was too low you have to wait for a 50 percent retracement to that candle and then you can short at this level by keeping your sl up here or up here also that is also okay but your take profit or your target level should be the central pivot this is the 24th of december you can see it here and the 23rd of december price did not even once touch the cpr now where is the cpr here let me draw lines for you here so it will be easy for you to understand this level here is the cpr okay let's write it also c p r and for this day it is a v cpr simple now you'll start understanding it after so many examples isn't it very simple so price never touched the cpr here and the next day after this huge red candle see how powerful this selling was massive crash that day isn't it and if you can see the crash was nearly at the level of 17160 and price came down to the level of nearly 16920 where the virgin cpr was so you can count the number here how big the crash was okay so the virgin cpr here after price came here it was making these strong red candles see how strong all these red candles were see all these red candles huge red candles and here suddenly price hits here then it forms this huge green candle price goes up tries to break it and then forms this pattern here here it forms this huge wick on the bottom and after this wick this green candle is formed so here what you could have done is you could have waited for price to come to the central pivot why you want to wait for price to come to the central pivot because you should be very careful after such massive selling you want to see if price actually breaks the virgin cpr and falls even further to the downside isn't it so you don't want to rush into a trade right away on this next candle when it forms a green candle normally what we would do is it breaks cpr the virgin cpr and then it forms a reversal pattern here and then we take that trade isn't it so instead of doing that instead of seeing that the green candle is formed immediately after the red candle so what does this mean here can you see this combination of these two candles i'll try to teach you a little bit of price action also here this combination what does it suggest that in the first candle the price was for pressed down by the sellers and then the buyers took over so here buying strength is seen but why i would caution you against taking this kind of a trade here is because you want price to come to the central pivot you should be sure that price comes to the central pivot and only then 
you are taking a trade and only then you see a reversal sign so a better entry would be when you see this kind of a wick at the central pivot and then you see this kind of a green candle forming that would be a better trade to go long on so how do you take the trade see this becomes your entry candle so your entry is here and now your sl should be ideally below the virgin cpr but if that is too big an sl for you in terms of points then you can place it below this week also that is also okay so you can place it below this week so it will be safer and then you can see what price does when it reaches the pivot here okay this is the support the s2 so this was s1 and this is s2 so after it reaches s2 it forms this kind of a pattern here which again suggests that price might be rejected from this point so be patient and you have to take calls based on your uh, judgment in the market i wanted to show you this example because you can see the kind of volatility price has shown in this zone take a look at this zone here so much volatility in that zone up and down up and down price just keeps going up and down from here and here and finally it goes up so there's a lot of volatility in this area and you have to take your judgment in the market and then trade accordingly so it is your choice whether you want to close the trade early at the pivot here because in technical analysis resistance becomes support and support becomes resistance once it is broken always remember this concept it's a very important concept the way to trade is totally dependent on you if you are an aggressive kind of a trader you might as well wait after this candle is formed after this candle is formed see if there is another support that the uh, that price is taking and then if it is bouncing or if you are an, a conservative trader then you can close your position at the resistance level also now i want to show you uh, another virgin cpr example see on the 8th of december this is the 8th you can see this this is the 9th 10th 11th and 14th on the 8th price did not touch the virgin uh, the cpr of that day let me write down what the cpr here is this is the cpr range the central pivot range and after this the price did not touch it so i had marked this range right up to let's count the days first second third and fourth it was the fourth day when price came back and hit the virgin cpr so you should have those levels ready on your charts and you should keep extending them every day for say the next five or six trading sessions okay now let's go to the intraday chart and see what happens there see this is the intraday chart of 14th and now you can see how price came falling towards the virgin cpr and here it started making these green candles so these candles give you confidence that now price is going to reverse and since there was not a very big fall you could have taken a trade this pin bar now this is a very good candle this is a very strong bullish sign and then you can go and take your entry on the top of this candle you can place your sl around this area which is below the central pivot of the virgin cpr below this level so somewhere here this is the central pivot and below this level and then since this was the swing high you could have taken your profit at the level of the swing high and when the price came here at this level if the uh, in the live market if you saw that this candle broke through the swing high very quickly then the best place to take profit would be next best place i would say would be pdl the previous day low here it's best to take profits very quickly after your one is to two is complete and take your profits home because reversal trades are not as powerful as breakout trades in breakouts you can surely wait for 1 is to 2.5 1 is to 3 and so on so there you have it as you saw very simple strategies and doesn't take much we are just working on the cpr also you have to be cautious that there are no immediate demand or supply zones in front of cpr breakout do not take that trade if you take a breakout trade in nifty ensure that bank nifty is not inside cpr because sometimes it can happen that bank nifty is stuck inside cpr nifty gives a breakout and suddenly bank nifty reverses 
because it takes selling at the CPR and the CPR breakout in nifty fails. If you have liked the video, please like, comment and share this video also and also hit the bell icon so that you're notified each time I land a new video. And once again, I wish you a very happy new year and I hope that you will support me in the years to come. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.